This happened last year, about a week before Christmas. The Harper family lived in a charming community called Balboa, about 50 miles from Los Angeles. Early one morning, Mrs. Harper took her car and drove to Los Angeles and... Mother, mother, where are you going? Mr. Darby in, Mr. Ted Darby. What's the name? Mrs. Harper. I'd like to see him. Just a second. If there's any calls, you know... Oh, oh excuse okay. me, honey. You know where you can reach me. Okay, I'll tell her. Mr. Darby wants you to wait for him in the bar. The bar? Every time we get a new singer, Joe... Oh, television is a big thing. It took me for 50 last night. I don't think the game was on the level. Serve anything yet, Miss? That's all right. Won't be long, ten minutes. Morning. Morning. Bar? In the bar. So you're Bee's mother. Yes, I am, Mr. Darby, and I... I never realized she had such a young mother. <laughs> There's quite a resemblance. I'm sorry I can't offer you a drink I yet. didn't come to make a social call, Mr. Darby. What I have to say won't take a minute. As you please. I don't want you to see my daughter again. Isn't that something for Bee to decide? I don't think so. She's only a child. Only 17. 18 next month. Only 17, Mr. Darby. And it's plain to see she's not old enough to know what's good for her. Mrs. Harper, there's no harm. He likes to get around, meet interesting people. I can do that for her. She can get along very nicely without you. You're not the kind of person I want B to see. I hope you're not judging by my temporary surroundings, Mrs. Harper. My apartment. I know the kind of man you are, Mr. Darby. I've gone to the trouble to find out. How does B feel about all this? I haven't discussed it with her, and I don't intend to, because you're going to stop seeing her. I am? Yes, and there's nothing I won't do to stop it. Maybe we should talk this over. There's nothing to talk over. Yes, there is. You've been pretty frank, and I'm going to be the same. I didn't know how strongly you felt about my seeing B, and now that I do, I want to cooperate. I want to help you. I think with a little common sense, we can get this all straightened out. Straightened. Just how important is it to you that I don't see her anymore? It's very important. I mean, as far as money is concerned. Otherwise, I couldn't possibly promise not to see her again, Mrs. Hart. You won't have to, Mr. Darby. You've made it very simple for me. I can discuss it with her now, and I'll have nothing to worry about when she hears how deeply you feel about her. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Six two six. Miss Beatrice Harper. Hey, mother. How come you went up to Los Angeles this morning and didn't tell any of us? I had some things to attend to. I'm going to put on a new bumper, mother. I think you're too late. And put on your shirt, David. Okay. Hello, father. 
Why didn't you tell us you were going to L.A. this morning? I, uh, uh, wanted to get to the store before the crowd. Say, but will you turn that vacuum cleaner off? I can't hear the race results. I don't know why you want to hear them, Mr. Harper. Hello, Mrs. Harper. You never win anyhow. Sybil, where's the... She She's hasn't in... talked to anyone all afternoon. She's in your room, Mrs. Harper. You're in your shower again. Is that you, Mother? Yes, B. When you're through your shower, I'd like to talk to you. I know. What do you mean, you know? Mother, how could you humiliate me so terribly by going to see Ted? Well, it was a little humiliating for me, too. I'm not used to dealing with people of his kind. Do you know what kind of a man he is? Yes, I know. But you're going to tell me that he's a low, vile character. He is. That he lives in a horrible, dirty hotel. When Ted called, he told me that's about what you'd say. No, wait a minute. I said, wait, B. And did your friend Mr. Darby also tell you he was perfectly willing not to see you again, providing I made it worth his while financially? I don't believe it. You don't think I'd make up a thing like that, do you? Ted said you made such a scene. He said you got all upset and excited. You might have misunderstood. I didn't misunderstand anything. He made his intentions perfectly clear. Mother, you think you understand people. But you really are terribly old-fashioned. You couldn't possibly understand a man like Ted. I wouldn't want to. Sybil, did you do my blouse yet? I haven't been able to get to it yet. Mm. Well, I asked you a whole hour ago. See, you'll not talk like that to Sybil. Sybil, you don't have to do the downstairs today. Let's not lose our tempers. Let's be reasonable. That man is the most... Mother, I don't care to discuss it anymore. Well, it's not a question of whether you care to discuss it. You're not to see that man again. You must give me your promise you won't see him again. I can't promise that, Mother. No? Then you're not going back to Los Angeles. I'll take you out of art school. You wouldn't do such a thing. I just did. Well, that won't keep us apart. We'll see each other somehow. Oh, B, stop acting. And you're not to see him again. That's fine. Now, get dressed and pick up your clothes. Mother, can't you trust me? I'm not having a nasty love affair with him, if that's what you think. B, I've been stupid and indulgent. Your father wanted you to go to college, and I took your side and persuaded him to let you go to art school, which he felt was wrong because of the freedom and the people you'd be exposed to. I mistakenly thought you were right-thinking enough to be discriminating about the friends you chose. Well, he was right, and I was wrong. You never would have met Darby if we'd listened to him. Now, I know it's difficult for you to understand because you're still a child. I probably would have felt the same way at your age. The difference is that when you're 17 today, you know what the score is. You're not a child anymore. B, I'm not going to sit here all day and go over the same thing again and again. You're not going to do Arthur, that. You're not, you're not going to oh, see that. No, no, you're calling. That's your father. Uh, how's it going with you, son? What? You are, Tom. Wonderful. Hi, Dad. Can I talk to him, Grandpa? Uh, wait a minute, Tom. Here's David. Hi, Dad. Swell. Huh? You ought to see it. It's almost a car Let now. Let me talk to him, David. Hold it. He's in Philadelphia. He's telling me all about his car. Tom, how are you, dear? I'm fine. We're all fine. Yeah. There's just one little problem. B wants a blue Christmas tree for Christmas, and the rest of us are holding out for a green one. How do you vote? What, you won't be here? Berlin? Oh, Tom, you can't be away for Christmas. Oh, I don't care, Tom. They've done without that bridge over there for four years. I should think they could do without it for another two weeks. Oh, I'm sorry. I know it's what we've wanted. It's wonderful, Tom, wonderful. Dad's been ordered to Berlin. Yes, yeah, she's here. Wait a minute. Here, dear. David just told me. Oh, we're going to miss you. Yes, I'm fine. Art school? Oh, well, I, I'm, I'm getting along beautifully. Owen? Oh, I haven't seen it. Well, I haven't seen anyone lately. I, I've been too busy. Uh, Mother wants to talk to you. Hurry home. Tom? What? I think she's taking art school a little too seriously. I'll tell her, dear. And don't worry about anything, darling. We'll all be fine. Goodness, Tom, this isn't anything. You were away three years during the war. Oh, you know I do, Tom. Bye, darling. I'll write tonight. Yes? It's me, Mother. Just a second.
come in. Wanted to say goodnight. Why aren't you wearing your slippers? I'm hardening my feet for trap. My dear. Nice. I'd like to see you once fully dressed. Writing to Dad so soon? Boy, grown-up sure can't be goony. You talked to him just this afternoon. I don't get it. Cause we're goony. Night, dear. Night. David, you smell like a garage. I take a shower every morning. Yes, but I have to sleep with you every night. She made such a scene. She said I, I had a promise never to see you again. That, that you weren't interested in me at all. All you wanted was money. And that if she paid you, you'd never see me again. That's not true, is it? As a matter of fact, B, I am desperate for money. No. What a horrible thing to say. Now, look, if your mother does give me the no. money, that doesn't no, mean that I won't let see go. you again. Let go. Go! But B, it doesn't mean I won't. B, you don't understand.
Can I help you, Mrs. Harper? Oh, no. No, thanks, sir. Now he's gone. Oh, Mother, I wish I'd never gone. I oh, wish don't I'd talk never... about it anymore, dear. It's over. Come on to bed. Come on, B. It was so awful. I just couldn't ever go through a thing like that again. I... You won't I have to, go... dear. I promise you. I'll get you a hot water bottle. It'll help you to sleep. What's all the running up and down stairs, Lucia? Nothing, Father. Bee isn't feeling well. I'm a growing boy. I need my rest. Go back to bed, David. I said go back to bed. Mother, can I have a piece of chocolate cake? Good night, David. Good morning, Mrs. Harper. Good morning, Sybil. You're up awful early this morning. I couldn't sleep. Can I fix you some breakfast? No, thanks, Sybil. You go back to bed. I'm going for a walk. Yes, sir.
Mother. Mother, you shouldn't have gone out in the boat. Why not? I haven't put in the new spark plugs yet, which, incidentally, I bought with my own money, and you owe me 50 cents for them. I'll pay you back. Throw it on your pants and button your jacket, David. You might have got stuck out there. Well, I didn't, so don't worry about it. I think I'll put those plugs in right now. What are you doing out at the crack of dawn? Father, I... Uh, my I... coffee, Mr. Harker. Sybil, you know I drink tea. Really, Lucy, you were taking an awful chance in that boat. I think David's been fooling around with that outboard motor. Probably got most of it in his car. What anyone wants to get up at dawn for? Uh, Mrs. Harper. Yes? Uh, I want to add something to that chopping list we made last night. Mm. I have it right here. Well, I had it. I know. You put it in your pocket so you wouldn't forget it like the last time. I know. Mother, was the anchor in the boat this morning? I don't know. Somebody swiped it. Who'd steal an anchor? I don't know, but it was in the boat yesterday. If Mother didn't see it this Never morning... Never mind, David. We'll get a new one. B. Yes, Mother. Good morning. B, I want to talk to you a minute. David and Grandpa, they no, don't know about dear, it. No, dear, that's what I want to talk to you about. B, did you ever tell anyone you were going with Ted Darby? No. Good. If I ever could have been fooled by that, that blowing vial. Stop it, B. I know how you feel, but you mustn't talk against him or about him to anyone. You mustn't even mention his name. Do you understand? Oh, I'd rather die than have anyone know I ever knew him. B, is there anything about last night that you haven't told me? No. No, there's nothing. You're sure? Yes. Go down to breakfast, dear. You're late. Well, I have you coming? I'll be right down. Well, you should. You know, we must make a point of seeing a lot of each other during the holidays. Mrs. Feller. What? We'll try. Owen will be home from school tomorrow, and I know he'll be dying to see Beatrice. We'll do that, Cass. We can't ship it like this. Beatrice is always like though. Oh, well, Owen is always like... Well, what's the matter with it? I did the best I could. You might have done the best you could, Mrs. Feller, but the best is none too good. All I want from this post office is delivery, not philosophy. Take a look, a little excitement. Lucia, doesn't it look all right to you? Well, I think he'd know, Catherine. Find some cord on that table by the window. What happened? Ex art dealer murdered in Balboa. Well, what do you know? A murder. Three cent stamp, please. Sure, there you are. Murder, eh? Where? Right over on the other side of the highway. And a murder right here in Balboa. Next. Who was the guy, anyway? Some character by the name of Darby. What do you want of this letter? What? Oh, uh, it's going to Berlin. How much will it be? I'll have to wait. Does this post office furnish scotch tape? Do they, do they say who did it? No, but they've got some ideas. They know all about that Darby. Hey, here's your change. Give me, give me one, please, Bob. Here you are, Mrs. Harper. Thanks. Sure is a nice tree you got there. Guess you're all set for Christmas now. What? What'd you say? I said, guess you're all set for Christmas. There's a gentleman been waiting. Who? Uh, a Mr. Donnelly. Donnelly. Yes? I'm waiting for Mrs. Harper. I'm Mrs. Harper. My name is Donnelly, Martin Donnelly. I'd like a few words with you. Yes, what about? Do you mind? You'll be wanting these, Mrs. Harper. What are they? Writings. I don't know what you're talking about. 
These are letters which your daughter wrote to the late Ted Darby. Price is $5,000 cash. Ted, darling, I just wasn't alive until I met you. But you came like a fresh wind blowing through my stuffy room. I don't know, Ted, if I can make up my mind to do what you asked yesterday. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to leave, Mr. Darnley. Would you like me to call the police? I wouldn't do that if I were you, Mrs. Harper. But just the fact that you did ask and that you thought I had the courage to take such a chance makes me feel proud. Ted, I'm thinking about it. I'm not sentimental, you know that, but just the same, it is hard to break entirely with the past. Hi, Mother. David. I got trunks on. Hi. This is my son, David, Mr. Dunn. Well? Hi. I learned a new song today. Want me to play it? Some other time, David. I'm busy. All right. Mother has no appreciation for music. Hey, Mother, you read about the murder? Yes, David. Oh, glamour girl. At last, there's some excitement for you. A guy got bumped off right near here. Excuse me a minute. Who? Who was it? XR dealer, Ted Darby. Give me that. What are you doing? Cut it out. Let me have it. Let me have it. Let me give it to you. No. Please stop it. Now she'll call all her arty friends in L.A. and tell them it happened in her own backyard. If we're not to be interrupted again, I'll continue. You don't have to continue. Because those letters don't mean a thing. She's only a child. They don't mean anything. Mrs. Harper, you don't seem to understand. The man these letters were written to has been murdered. The police would be greatly interested. Ted, dearest, I'm frantic. The other day I started to talk to Mother about you. And it was just awful. She wouldn't understand. How did you get these? Darby wanted to borrow some money from us. I didn't think the letters were worth anything. But there was not much else the man had to offer, so we took them off him until he was ready to pay us back. Sort of collateral, you know? Well, you might say it was a bit of luck for us he's getting murdered like that, because now the letters will realize much more than we lent him. As Mr. Nagel would say, we want to liquidate our stock while the market is high. Mr. Nagel's my partner. He's a good businessman. Lucia! Where do you want me to put it? Oh, this is Mr. Donnelly. Uh, he's from Tom's office. Oh, you know my son? Isn't it great about us going to Berlin? How do you do? <laughs> I'm, I'm terribly sorry you can't stay for dinner. Oh, you're not staying for dinner? No. Oh, it's a big mistake. Sybil's making beef and kidney pie. But, Father... You're very kind, but I have someone waiting. Uh, are you from Ireland, Mr. Donnelly? I was born there. Uh, then we have something in common. I'm from Boston. Is that right? Uh, as long as you can't stay for dinner, the least we can do is give you a drink. Thank you. Mother, may I talk to you for a minute? Go ahead. I can wait. Mother, it's all about him. Shh, not him. Mother said such terrible things in this message. With you. Jail, mother. I he know, was arrested. I know. And that ugly office that he has nothing to do with you. Please listen to me. Whatever happened to that man? I'm glad he's dead. Don't say that. Don't ever say that. Mother, I, there's something I, I didn't tell you. B, whatever happened to that man has nothing to do with you. Nobody knows. Just you and I. So please put it out of your mind. Mother, wait a minute. I wrote to him. I wrote a lot. They'll find the letters. No. No, they won't. No one will find anything, I promise you. Oh, it's rotten. rotten. It's awful. Get ready for dinner, dude. I can't go to All dinner. All right, I'll bring you something later. Is that gentleman staying for dinner? No, and I hope Father doesn't ask him again. David, stop it and get dressed for dinner. Would you, would you ever have had Sybil's almost ready to serve. The summertime, the kids have a marvelous time in those little I can believe that. I really must be going. Oh, but I haven't had a chance Father, to hear about Father, I'll Tom. tell you all about it later. I'll be seeing you again, Mr. Harper, very likely. Mrs. Harper's going to help me look for a house out here. Good. Tomorrow. Uh, Lucia, did anyone get the paper? I want to get the results of the fourth race at Tropical Park. Gold Admiral, page 660. 
And Mr. Harper at Caliente, Sunday, Rolling Hills in the fifth race to win. Are you sure? I'm sure. Good night, Mr. Harper. Good night. I can't. I can't see you tomorrow. Where shall we meet? You can't come here. I won't have you in my house. I don't have to come back if you give me the money now. I have to have time to think. Could you get in touch with your husband? No. The father-in-law. We haven't got $5,000. You'll think of a way to lay your hands on it. Uh, I'll meet you at the, the real estate agency tomorrow. It's the one next to the drugstore. Nine o'clock. 9.30. All right, Mrs. Harper. Good night. Bee's gone up to her room, Mother, and won't come down. I know. What's been bothering Bee the last few days, Lucia? The artist is starving in her garret tonight. Uh, nice fellow. Was his name O. Donnelly or just plain Donnelly? Donnelly. David, don't take so much butter. Uh, where'd Tom meet him? I don't remember, Father. Tom meets so many people. He... Is he from Tom's office? I'm not sure. He, he, he didn't... What's the matter? I have a headache. David, I told you not to take so much butter. Don't you think you should get up, Lee? Everyone's at breakfast. It's late. I'll be there at breakfast. I'll sit and ask questions. Please, I don't want to go down. Oh, come on now. Fix your face and take a shower and have breakfast downstairs like everybody else. Well, I can't. Could I maybe go away somewhere for a while? I don't know, B. Where could you go and how would it look, you being away during the holidays? What would David and your grandfather think? Well, if I could go to, to go to Lake Tahoe, to Aunt Edna's. That would be perfectly all right, and I wouldn't think anything. Oh, please, talk to her and see if it's all right. Or maybe... Operator, I want to call Lake Tahoe. Person to person call. My number? Carpet getting called, Lucia. Uh, never mind, operator. to meet at the real estate office. It's past 9.30. I'll be right with you. You've got to eat something before you go out. Haven't you, Mr. Donnelly? I used to handle quite a lot of them when they were hard to get. David, go in and finish your breakfast. Thank you, Mr. Donnelly. The next time the guard comes, ask him to roll up the hose, please. Fix it. All right, go back in the house. Yes, Why'd you come here? We were supposed to meet in the village. I'd like to get this over as fast as I can. Yes. We'll have to move faster. Oh, here they are. I'll back my car out. We'll use mine. We'll use mine. Did you find a way to get the money yet? Please just drive me to the drugstore. 
I have a call to make. It's a call I can't make at the house. I understand. Proud for your health. What? You smoke too much. It's going to be hard for me to go to Los Angeles and get the money. I, I promised Father and David the car tomorrow. If I want it, there'll be questions. I've been to Los Angeles once this week. That means more questions. You don't know how, how a family can surround you at times. No, I don't. I have to have time to think. I can't just get the money like, like that. Hi, Miss Harper. Uh, hello, Mike. I thought I was going to hear from you, Miss Harper. What about? I want to get busy on that roof of yours before we get busy. Oh, well, uh, we'll talk about it when Mr. Harper gets home. Okay. You should have taken my car. Turn left here, there's less traffic. This ought to be deserted enough. My son worked here last summer, worked very hard. You wouldn't know about that, would you? Sold hamburgers, saved forty dollars. At least he earned it. Do you never get away from your family? No. But Edna B wouldn't care where she slept just as long as she was up there. She isn't hard to manage. B isn't like that. Edna, I'm the first to appreciate that you're filled up at Christmas, but B hasn't been feeling well. No, she isn't sick, but I, I want to get her away from here. February. No, Edna, you... What? Operator? My three... Oh, hold on, Edna. I have to get some more change. Hold on. I need some change. I'm in the middle of a phone conversation. I've got some time, I think. I think I'll need another quarter. Mm -hmm. Yes, nicotine list tobacco stand. Nice. Do you sell many of these? Filter holders? Tons of them. Wouldn't it be simpler if you didn't sell the cigarettes? <laughs> are you with Mrs. Harper? Yes. Well, these are hers. Oh, thank you. One thing I can't make out. If it's two or three cans of tooth powder. I don't know. I'll make it three. All right? All right. Uh, and uh, I'll take one of these. Charge? Well, these are charged. I'll pay for that. Oh, you have Hello, Mr. Harper. Hello. Did you remember to put my father-in-law's razor blades? Did we? Yes. And, and here's your change. And three oh. makes a dollar. You ready? Yes. Goodbye, Mrs. Harper. Goodbye, Mr. Got your wheels. That's it. Was your telephone call successful? Did you arrange anything? 
I wasn't calling about the money. I have an aunt in Tahoe. I wanted to look after B for a while. I thought you might have changed your mind about getting in touch with your husband. Will you be doing that? No. I told you, I can't do that. Why? It may be weeks before I can reach him. I wouldn't think there was any place that remote. He's traveling. You can cable him on a boat or a train. What do you expect me to do? Cable, send money, I'm being blackmailed? My husband will get in touch with me as soon as he can. I'm afraid we can't wait that long. Well, I'm afraid you'll have to. I wouldn't even consider trying to raise the money if B weren't so... Well, she... if she wouldn't... Well, you... one has to be careful. Children dramatize things so much. In this case, she's justified. That's ridiculous. Her letters mean nothing. You and I, we, we both know that. Nevertheless, you're anxious that the police shan't see them. Only because it would make her feel... There's the police. They'll be looking for the one who killed Darby. Now, if they should see those letters... Oh, Wednesday, Mr. Donnelly, please. The banks are closed over the weekend. There's nothing I can do. It's and... too far off. And the car, I've already told you. I, I can't take the car to Los Angeles again. It'll make my family wonder. It's just impossible for me to get away so soon again on my own. You're quite a prisoner, aren't you? I don't feel like one. Wednesday, Mr. Donnelly. In the years I've been with Nagel, I've seen him handle blackmail deals. Believe me, Mrs. Harper, it's best that you do this through me. My partner's not always as patient as I am. Partner? I don't believe you have a partner. You're on your own. You might at least have the courage to admit it. No, I'm not on my own. We're all involved with each other one way or another. You have your family. I have my Nagel. How can you say that? You and your Mr. Nagel, if he exists, are just a couple of blackmailers held together by a common interest in cheating people. I wouldn't try to raise the money. It's just that B... Well, it would be such a shock to her. She's lucky to have a mother like you. Everyone has a mother like me. You probably had one, too. When should I come for the money? I'll have to get in touch with you. I'd call you tonight. Don't you understand? You can't call me. I'll do the best I can. I'll try every way. And then I'll send it to you. But just give me until Wednesday. I'll know by then what I can do. I'll see about it. Would you like to have some lunch now? With you? No. You'd be perfectly safe with me. Just drop me on the other side. How will you get home? Don't worry, I'll manage. There is a needle. I give you my word. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Harper. Thank you very much. Sir, we couldn't help any more, Lieutenant. But nobody up at our house ever heard him. Now, we'll see you again, Mr. Harper. You know, it had me completely fooled. I figured he was killed up in L.A. and then dumped down here. Uh, well, we, uh, we know it didn't happen that way, Mr. Harper. Uh, you mean because you know he was killed with an anchor? Well, that and some other things, yes, Mr. Harper. Uh -huh. Do you think he was murdered right here in Balboa, yeah, Lieutenant? Well, maybe. All right. Well, if it happens to be that yes. way, then, Lieutenant, we'll give you all the help we can. You see, when I was a young man in the army, I was always interested in crime. Yes, thank you very, was... very much, Mr. Harper. Oh, uh, you're, we'll you're see welcome. you again. We'll see you again. Uh, goodbye, goodbye, Lieutenant. Goodbye, 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 goodbye now. Goodbye, 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 go
Yeah, two fellas fishing. The lieutenant wanted to talk to you. Why? Oh, to find out if you'd seen anybody. I told them you hadn't or you would have mentioned it. Why are they so interested in anyone being on the water at that hour? Mm, they know that it was about that time that Darby's body was moved into the swamp. This is Harper. I didn't see anyone. This is Harper. Uh, Sybil's calling you, Lucia. Telephone. Oh. I'm coming. Mr. Donnelly. Uh, that Mr. Donnelly? Yes. Ask him for dinner some night. All right, Father. What is it? I understand you can't talk. Look now, I just called to tell you that he, he won't wait till Wednesday. He wants the money no later than Monday. And there is a Nagel. I'm afraid there's very much a Nagel. You don't believe me. Listen to me. Listen. If you could get half of it, you don't have to raise. I already told Nagel I wouldn't be wanting my share. And I'd like you to know, too, that if I had the money, I, I'd pay him off, and that would be the end of it. Are you there? Did you hear what I said? I wish you would believe me. I wish things could have been different in many ways. Only one good thing came of it. I met you. Which way did you come into town? I'll meet you at the terminal. Where's the game tonight? I don't know. I'm not playing. Tell him the game will be held in room 420 tonight. Talk to her? Yes. She'll have the money Monday? She'll try. What do you give me that she'll try business for? I told you what to tell her. Let's cut out the horsing around. Maybe I better go down there and talk to her. I'm handling this. You lay off. You're not going near her. I'm not, huh? No, you're not. You know, this lady's not in your class, Martin. I often think you get mad at me because I remind you of what you are. You're not respectable, Martin. Relax, take it easy. I thought maybe you'd like this. Thanks. Sybil, I, I didn't put the things away that I got in town this morning. Would you please? Yes. How do people put aside money so they have it when they need it? Christmas sure makes little numbers out of big ones, doesn't it? Sybil, we've got to cut on, down on the lights. That would... Well, I mean, we're always leaving the lights on. and The meat bill, Sybil. Cancel that suit I ordered. Oh, we can watch it a little more, Mrs. Harper. This wasn't on the list. Did, did you buy the cigarette holder? No. No, I didn't. I'll take it back. Good night, Mrs. Harper. Good night.
really wish you'd understand, Mrs. Harper. That kind of a loan. Hello, Mrs. Harper. Hello. Uh, that kind of a loan. May I have your keys, please? We'd have to have your husband's signature. Yes, yes. If you'd given us a little notice, it would only be a matter of a few days. We'd cable to your husband, you see, and settle the matter. It's all right, Mr. Oppenheim. I understand. Could you help me? Whom do I see about making a... I... I'd like to see someone about making a loan. Just a minute. Mrs. Loring's free now. She's at the third desk in there. Just go through the gate. Thank you. Mrs. Harper. Harper. Thank you. H-A-R-P-E-R? -E yes. I grow them in my garden. Oh. Now then, what can I do for you? I want to get a loan. I mean, make a loan. No, get a loan. And how much do you wish to borrow? Five thousand dollars. I see. What is the purpose of this loan, if I may ask? Well, I, I need the money. Oh, I gathered that. Now, uh, what is the money for? Well, your, your ad said no red tape. Well, we must know the purpose of the loan and how you plan to repay it. That's not red tape, is it? No, I didn't. Now, what is your husband's first name and occupation? I thought it was just a question of my signing a note. Well. How much do you think you could repay every month? Fifty dollars. Mrs. Harper, do you realize how long it would take to pay back the sum you ask at that rate? I guess it would take a long time. Well, we couldn't consider it, Mrs. Harper, really. Do you have any collateral? A car wouldn't cover it, of course, but your house... No, but I, I have my jewelry. Oh, I'm sorry. We cannot lend money on jewelry. We don't have a pawnbroker's license. It's a uh, state law, you know. I see. Well, I guess I won't bother you anymore. Thanks. Thanks just the same. Of course. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Here, madam. I'd, I'd like to borrow some money on some jewelry. All right. Here it is. It's mine. Very nice. Nice setting. Trifle out of date. Yes. Um, how much do you want on this? As much as I can get. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well. Um, I can give you, um, 700. 700? But it's worth so much more. 800. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Will you... Are you going to put the things in the window? No, no. Those things in the window are those which the owners haven't redeemed, or they haven't paid the interest on. I see. Oh, it's late. 
Here's your ticket, madam. Mm -hmm. You'll need that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. $800. And I won't be taking the money. Did you draw that out of your bank? No, I didn't have it. I, I pawned some jewelry. Well, you can get your things back, all of them. Nagel can't do anything to you now. I, I don't understand what you the mean. The police know who killed Darby. They've taken him in. They, they, they what? It's no bother of yours. He's nothing. They, they've arrested someone? I'll get you some coffee. What? Your worries are over now, and I'm glad. But you won't have any trouble. Well, he wants to make people like in California yet. They'll keep the girl's name out of it. Well, it has nothing to do with that. Mr. Donnelly. Right after that. Listen to me, please. And I told her that. Supposing he had nothing to do with it, this this what's his name? Murray, he could have been framed. A lot of people didn't like him. But he's Pardon in jail. He's in jail for it. He'll be tried for well, it. He'll lose a night's sleep over it. He and Darby. But he can't often. be punished, can he, for something he didn't do? There's no need for you to worry about it. It's no concern of yours. Coffee, please. One coffee, please. Yes. But what if he didn't do it? What if he did? But he didn't do it. He didn't because. Well, you see, he couldn't. And the thing is, they mustn't keep him in jail because he didn't do it. Ten cents. Two seats from us. Let's come sit down. Arriving, gate four. Will you have a Coke? No, I want an ice cream. Camellia? Buy the lady a Camellia, mister. We can't. Take it easy. But he didn't do it. Do you know who did that? You do know. Come on now, who was it? You're not going to tell me that you killed him. Yes. Well, no. I mean, well, you see, earlier that day, I, I went to see Darby. I, I, I told him he must never meet her again. I told B, too. I said if he ever came near her again, I'd... Well, that night he did come to see her. They, they, they met at the boathouse. I went there. There was an awful argument and a... You couldn't have killed him. I don't believe you. I did. I did with the anchor. A handy little weapon. I pushed him. I pushed him and he... he fell on it. Later I had to move him off of it. It was... How did you move him? He was a big man, Darby. You couldn't have done that part of it. Oh, yes, I could. I did, though. I don't know how I did, but I... I, I don't did. believe you. I can't help it. It's the truth, and now they're holding all him All right, up. all right, all right. So you're a murderer, so I believe you, if that's what you want. But you're not to repeat this story to another soul. I want your word on that. How about your family? How would it be for them? Manhattan Beach, Long Beach, Newport, Balboa, Laguna, now loading. Bus for Hermosa, Manhattan Beach, Long Beach, Newport, Balboa, Laguna, now loading. Listen to me. You're out of it now. Don't you see? You're out of it. You're safe. But he's innocent. All right, he's innocent of this, but he's guilty of a hundred other things, so it doesn't matter. It makes no difference. You've got to look at it from all sides. It's your family. You'll have to think out what's going to do the most good in the end. Forget about him. What's the use of sacrificing your family for a man that's no good, that deserves what's coming to him? If he gets it for this, it's the only good thing he's done in his whole life. Don't be trying to think of the right and the wrong of it. You're not dealing with the kind of people you know. You're dealing with the kind of people I know. This is how it'll be. It's the right thing to do, Lucy. It's the right thing. Just you forget this. If you do as I say, it'll be over for you. Tonight I'll have it out with Nagel. You'll have your letters back, and I'll bring them to the house. No, please. Please mail them. I I'm sorry, but... Of course, I understand. I'll mail them. Thank you.
Well, if you want your choice, you have to lay six to I'm five. looking for Nagel. Have you seen him? In the bar. All right, you got the five five and ten. Hi, Martin. No, no, no. Just play the same tune again. The same tune again. Yeah, I need one card right from the beginning. What do you Where's Nagel? It's your pick. You heard Murray got sprung a little while ago. What about What's it? Score? So he went for a little drive. Where did he go? Said he wanted to get some salt air. That's it. Now it's lost. Nagel. He's not a nice man, Mrs. Harper. Don't you think we ought to call him? No. Where, where is he? Well, he said he wanted to see you alone, so I had him wait in the boathouse. I'll go there. You better tell the folks you're home first. They're awful upset about you being so late. All right, would you give him a drink and tell him I'll be down as soon as I can? Traffic was heavy and the bus was slow. Hey, Mother, can I have a dollar? A dollar, David? What for? What for? I'm going out. Look at me. Why on the station? Uh, there's a dollar in my desk drawer upstairs. Take it, but one, not two. Okay, thanks. Where are you going? Owen Feller asked me and B to go to the movies with him. The whole gang's gone. But the beautiful Beatrice does not choose to go. Why don't you want to go, B? Because, Mother. You should go, dear. Owen will be terribly disappointed. I just don't want to. I've eaten and I'm tired. Really, be the right thing for you to do is to go. I, I, I'm too tired to go into it now, but I, I wish you'd do as I say, please. I, I just can't. Lucia. Uh, Lucia, with Tom away, if you ever want to talk things over, uh, well, I mean, if you... What I mean is... I'm here, you know. I know, Father. I was on my way to bed, but if you'd like to catch a late movie. No, thanks. Tired? Father, there's nothing wrong that Tom's coming home won't cure. Good night. Good night. I'll do those. You go. Oh, Mother, I just don't feel like seeing you. You don't want to see Owen, and I know why. It's ridiculous. Believe me. If anyone ever found We've out about it. We've gone all through that, and there's nothing more to say. You, you just can't stop living at your age. Come on. Uh, I'm not dressed. You look perfectly all right. I'll give you my fur coat. It looks lovely on you. You've got to see people sooner or later, so you might as well start now. It's Mother? It's just that it's so you I know that you must. Hey, she's going? Yes, David, she's going. Atta, girl. Come on. Wait a minute, B. Want to roll down your sleeve? Hey. Well, there's something in the pocket. Oh, it's just an old shopping list. Shopping list? What? Huh? Oh, nothing, dear. You better hurry. Fix your sleeve. Hey, you don't want Come on. Come on. Come on. Right. I'll see you when you get home. Oh, no. Have fun. Okay. Oh. Thanks. Well, I'll wait here. You call me if you need me. All Sorry if I have to wait here, but my well, family... Oh, Duchess, you sure took your time. Well, I, I, I couldn't get here any sooner. 
What do you want? Don't you know? Well, this afternoon, Mr. Donnelly said that I didn't... No, you must be a mighty fast talker. Donnelly was a mighty good man until he ran into you. Now he's gone soft on us. But he said that... Let's skip all the talking. Where's the money? Donnelly said too much. We're right back where we started. Only this time he's out. I'm taking the whole five tonight. I don't know what now. you mean. I don't know what you mean right back where we started. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. Now, where's the money? I haven't got it. I can't get it. I don't have to get it. I don't have to get it because you can't do anything to me anymore. Got it. Cut it. You might be playing around with Donnelly, but not with me. I tell you, you can't do anything to me anymore. They've got the man who killed Darby. It has nothing to do with my daughter. The letters mean nothing. They've got him. They've got the man they're looking for. You can't do anything to me anymore. I got news for you, Duchess. Murray was sprung this afternoon. And I'm going to do what I should have done in the beginning. I'm going to call the police. And I'll get a hold of a newspaper friend of mine and give him these. He'll do the rest. There's nothing the newspapers like more than a beautiful young girl mixed up in a murder case. She had nothing to do with it. Then let her prove it. Now, Donnelly might have been willing to make some kind of deal with you, but not me. I don't care about your daughter, your son, your husband, or anybody else. Don't go. Get help. You're bleeding. You've got to get him out of here. No. No, you're not going to do that. I've got to get him out of here. No, you can't. It's useless. We've got to call the police. No, no, no. You don't understand. I'll tell them the whole story. Everything that happened. I'll tell them it's my fault, not yours. That you did it for me. I'll tell them that. They'll understand when I tell them everything. It's me and Michael, they'll understand. They know our kind. You're not like He was better than I was. He had no illusions about himself. I never killed a man before. Do you know that when I was a boy, my mother wanted to make a priest of me? She had five sons and would never learn that I was the bad one. I never did a decent thing in all my life. I never even wanted to until you came along. Then I began to think, if only I could turn back and start over. So what happens? As soon as I try to start back, I find myself with this on my hands. Let's take it as a hint, Lucy. Don't make the same mistake my mother made. You don't know me, Lucy. The police know me all right. No, I can't let you take this on yourself and be hunted for murder the rest of your life. I got you into this. My way of doing something that made everything wrong. I'll tell them that. 
Tell them about B and Darby. Tell them about you. It's the only way. Before you do that, do you mind getting me a drink? I could use one. Be right back. Donnie's been badly hurt. Yes, but hurry and be careful about Mr. Harper. Mrs. Harper. I'd lie. I wouldn't tell him about the blackmail. I liked Mr. Donnelly. He wouldn't listen to me. If only he would listen. Everything's turned out all right. Finding Nagel here, they'll never know what happened. It'll be... He, he was with me when I had the accident. But you'll spoil everything if you are here when they come. <laughs> ah, no, you must have courage, Lucy, and leave me. You'll spoil everything if you stay. It'll all be for nothing. Everything will be all right for me in a few minutes. They'll take me to the station. The doctor will fix me. But you must get away from here. Hey, go on, hurry, Lucy. Go on now, Lucy. Hurry now. Go on, get away. Hurry, Lucy, go on.
Come on, Mrs. Harper. I I'll drive. Mr. Harper, he's on the phone. That's... Mother, we saw a terrible accident. Quiet, David. It's Mr. Harper, Berlin. Yeah. Mother, we had to make a detour. I did. The police, the, the police said that the man who was in the accident huh? confessed to killing Darby. They got to him just before he died. And Mother, they told You're me okay. who it was. Oh, <laughs> Second, Dad. What's going on down there? It's Dad, Grandpa. Oh. Tom? Tom, we've, we've mailed your Christmas packages. We're going to have a blue Christmas tree. And everything's fine, except we miss you terribly. Yes, Tom.